Hey guys, welcome to the Heart of David. Hope you're all doing well tonight. Um, when I do these videos, I usually put them out within a couple days or so. Um, you can see the title here. There's going to be viewer discretion advised in this. Uh, volume and alpha male behavior. <clears throat> the reason I want to play this is because you see right there the guy with the holding the microphone right there he does exactly what a Christian should do under pressure I mean it would take a lot of guts to do what he's doing um, just listen to what he says I'm gonna get into that but I wanna um, I wanna talk about something first um, and then I'll, then I'll get to this and I'll comment on it. I guess this channel is called uh, Fresh and Fit. And uh, probably a lot of alpha males. I don't know. You can see these guys probably all in shape and all that type of stuff. You know, it's just a men's channel type thing. And, and uh, you'll never find me around any alpha males. You'll never find me around them. Um, I just think it's... I don't really think there is something called alpha male, sigma male. I just think it's, th those are just classifications. These are just the way people are. Those people, that, that really puts people in box with their wolves, right? Um, anyways, I'm, I'm not, and I don't want to put people in boxes either. But uh, the alpha male, um, when they compare, and they have two different comparisons, one is a um, alpha male and one's a sigma male, what's the difference? They say that an alpha male is really loud and has to present himself as strong as I have a lot of money. But the sigma male is just as confident, or if not more confident, but doesn't say those things. Is quiet, is someone who you, you probably want to have on your side that's how I see it sorry I'm, I'm very breathless on this I'm trying to make my videos too early before my um, throat spasm medication kicks in um, yeah so before I play this like you guys should I, I really want you to see this and uh, pardon the swearing I, I'm not bleeping out the swearing or anything like that that just takes too much editing for me, but um, yeah, I just want to say one thing beforehand. The way the world is right now, um, there were always aggressive males, right? There always has been. But because they have a platform now, like, look how many people are on this. I don't know. There's like 1.57 million subscribers on this. So I don't know. They have a whole stale stage of alpha males. Or maybe I'm wrong. But um, it doesn't transmit a good message. The alpha male s status. It just, it really doesn't. Where's the love at all in it? Where's the caring? Where's the... And I'm not saying people who are alpha males uh, don't, aren't loving and don't care. But I want to... I just... Presenting that to people that about money and being rich and all that type of stuff, well, you already know if by watching my channel, being a, being a Christian, that this is the world. It's, goes, it's an enmity with God. So you're for an, if you're an alpha male listening to this, just know that all the money and all the fame you're going after, all the money, all the muscles, there's nothing wrong with building up your body. And um, is that you will be at enmity with God, not muscles. But if you make all that type of stuff your idol, you're at enmity with God. What I wanted to say is this, and this has nothing to do with this here. This is just something I wanted to, to say about Palestinian protesters. That I saw a really good, um, 
I don't I forget the name of the channel. It was something my channel that explains the Palestinian Israeli conflict very well. Like right to the T. It doesn't leave anything out. <clears throat> and he he points out a strange thing that you probably already know that people just don't express enough. You know all the protests that are happening around the world. Do you know why they're happening to the degree that they're happening in North American and, and European cities? The primary reason is that we have let in so many Middle Eastern people. That's reality. You can call me racist. This is the reality. These people come from, they leave because they're, they're coming from a violent country. They're trying to get away from oppressive regimes. But when, it, when they come here, they want to, you know, they say, I, like, I'm, this is a reason I'm leaving. Like, I just couldn't stand it. But when it comes to, to this, they support it. Like, they want to uh, put laws on us that, you know, uh, I'm not saying every single one of them. But they would be okay with Sharia law. You can see this happening in every country. You call me any word you want. Look at France. Look at the UK. It's because of that. It's it's a, what what's a word for that? Oxymoron. It's a complete opposite of what they say they're coming here for. They're coming here and they're oppressing us. I'm not saying everyone uh, does that, but it's happening. And um, anyways, so it doesn't work well with our society, and you can't avoid that. Um, I just wanted to say that. It's, it's just very strange. They, they leave to, to go away from war-torn countries, violence because of the, the stipulations and rules and oppressive uh, regimes that they have in place, but they want to come here and put it on us. Anyways, that's what I wanted to say. I'm going to play this video um, and uh, let's see what happens. And before I play it, like I said, you know how it says in the Bible, where does it say that exactly? I'm just going to say it. Don't worry, you know, you'll be taken in the synagogue, you'll be beaten, and when they... That's in Revelation, isn't it? And it said, you'll be in jail for... You'll be in prison for 10 days type thing. And don't worry what you're going to say, because in that very same hour, you'll have an opportunity to speak. This is exactly someone who has guts. Of all the people there, and I'm not, I'm not judging the people, but if they're all like this, anyways, just watch. I don't want to judge anybody. You'll see their, you'll see the actions for themselves. Christ said himself, "What good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul?" Shut the f up! You, you don't worship know me, you f can tell. Lame. I can. We're I gonna can move make on. You cry if you want. We're gonna move on. That's all <laughs> alpha male. There's a reason why thinking of yourself as an will make grown men act like children, leading to tantrums like this. Yes, you can. Stop being a. Bitch. Come back. Come back. I'll f you up right now. What's good? What's good? Chill, bro. Let's go. Cause you're. A bitch. You're. A bitch. You're sitting in this chest like, well, yeah, just network commanders. I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, and everyone's going to become... Look at that. This is, uh, I, I don't know. I looked at their site quickly, and it said the number one men's, men's podcast. Is this what alpha males are? Is this what they're teaching kids, teaching teenagers? And Because uh, it doesn't look okay to me. Commander, you yep. I'm like a fucking say it. You hit me, I live through the battle, and I get stronger after the fact. So let's do it. You got the advantage. You've been training too, man. So let's fuck it. Put the gloves on and let's fight. If I ever run into this motherfucker, he's gonna beat the shit out of me. That's what I want because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can. Do you consider yourself an emotional male?
Not really. I would say I do a good job of, you know, controlling it. And there's no better way to understand how the alpha male mindset makes you insecure than taking a look at a recent debate between a Christian and a self-proclaimed alpha male. The clip starts with our favorite alpha male podcasters, Fresh and Fit, asking their panel how to define success. And I love this question because it helps to show the things that they believe make them valuable. The responses give us our first hint as to why the alpha male mindset makes these men come off as being both cocky. By the way, shout out to What Do You Mean? I took this from him because I can't, I can find the podcast, but I can't find the thing. Anyways, he does a good job on this, so shout out to him. And radically insecure. In my definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean fucking shit to me. I, I roll in most rooms with successful entrepreneurs and they're just, they're, it's pathetic. They'll have like a before and after picture of their fitness shit, and their after picture looks like their before pic. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're not embarrassed to this shit? Like you have enough money and that's what you put out. You're that big of a you better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better be rolling some sick shit. I don't hear much substance at all. Nothing. What do you think the people around him are thinking? Do you think they're agreeing or? Because I bet they're thinking like, like, I don't know about this guy, but he seems to agree. I'd feel pretty uncomfortable if I was up there. That's what I like. So success to this guy basically means having money and muscles. And to no surprise, our favorite alpha males, fresh and fit, appear to completely agree. Well said, Wes. God, <laughs> with the fire. We got, we do what we do. <laughs> but even though they seem so pumped about his response, the energy in the room quickly changed when the Christian on the panel answered the same question. And this is what kicked off the coming chaos. My definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel. I'll probably maybe be the lone dissenter, but my definition of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? And the, essentially, when I think of wealth, I think of materialism. It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have money. But but here's the thing. Why is why is money <laughs> valuable? I'm a, just do you why, have money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking. Do you have money? I just thought no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are. Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, well, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not. Strolling. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I don't I, have I a just Ferrari. really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably the five bucks in my pocket, not much uh, more. See, does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's, that takes a lot He's of money. Right. He's doing all right. Okay. It's but okay. <laughs> this is the thing. So without even saying it, the Christian basically said that the things that the alpha bro thought made him valuable weren't things that actually make people valuable. And like anything that we believe makes us valuable, since our value comes from those things, when others refuse to acknowledge it, we interpret that as implying that we aren't valuable and we get defensive. This leads to radical insecurity, which makes sense of why we see the alpha bro responding like this. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say it? Why must you have the thing you, before you I, can, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed because to I ask the question? I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how, why can't you ask the question? Okay, so... That's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody, how come if I don't have X thing because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I people, was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, people, I don't know who you are. Even, yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth. And so the thing is, is no, it's no, not, definitely not. Definitely yeah, not. Def, definitely no, definitely so. not. Definitely so. I've, are you proud? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt because off. Because I've been. Tell me you're fucking proud. Because of your I, 
What a brave Christian. That's all I have to say. What a what a true believer right there. You know when you read things in the Bible like you know like when um Jesus went to the cross? No. Well, yes, but when Nehemiah and and the people that were surrounding him, you know, were rebuilding the wall and doing stuff like that, the stuff that they had to put up with. Very breathless guys. It's it's just it's just hard to watch to see that somebody is basing their entire self. And I made a video before, okay? I made a video about facing the fact that if you're good looking, I mean, can you remember that video that I made? If you're attractive, how do you live with the fact that that one day it's going to go away? And personally, um, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this, people have called me attractive all my life. It's no different. I had to learn to, to, to realize that that th kind of stuff is gonna is gonna leave. It's about substance. It's about substance. He's asking him, "How much money do you have?" And he's starting to scan him to see what he doesn't have that he has. It's just hard to watch. And because he's, he doesn't seem to be getting his way and his demons are being provoked that he's going to threaten him. That's what alpha males do. I've been to f***ing prison? Jesus Christ, because look I've at been to you, prison? bro. You got ten-inch arms and f***s. Men don't have f***s. And if you thought that was bad, unfortunately, it gets worse. After they trade insults for a little bit, the Christian gets back to his main point. And yes, I do think, I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society. And I do think that true wealth is the family. And I think that true wealth is having a wife and true wealth. That is what I think it is. And that is what I think truly success is, is being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That is exactly what we need today. That is a real man. That guy, the other guy, has not a clue what he's speaking about. All right, so now that he's not budging and he won't concede that the Alpha Bro was right and money actually does equal success, listen to how the Alpha Bro responds. That's and then when you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. Do you have that stud right there with you, his shirt off. Do you have children? Look at that stud. Do you, do you have children? I do. Look, another... Because he's deflecting, the only thing he can do is point out his flaws. He's making fun of him. That he's being a child. You have children. How many? I have two. You have two. So are you saying that your Bugatti and your money and everything else is worth more than your children? Like, my dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very he works he's Damn it! You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that is just a make an product. I, dude, I'll smack your fat. Ass. You're gonna attack. Okay. You're gonna attack. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Like, all right. Dude, dude, nobody's all right. whining. Do you usually attack this armed men in Florida? Talk, <laughs> you, dude, all right. Look Let's at just... your goddamn self. Okay, guys, well, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such goofy. a pathetic mother. Okay, okay. well, chill out a little I'll... bit, man. A little bit. This is not what men let's let look him, like. Let's let him what all right, so the alpha bro followed up by doing what all of these alpha bros do when they start feeling insecure. Throw a tantrum and then threaten physical violence. Stop being a bitch. Come back, come back, I'll you up right now. What's good? And at this point, it's pretty obvious that the alpha bro is coming across as a hundred times more insecure than the Christian, but you might be wondering why. If all of the money and success makes him feel more valuable, then why is he so insecure? And also, why doesn't the Christian seem half as insecure as him? You might be tempted to think that this is just a unique situation and it's really just this guy. But in reality, this seems to be the case with all of these self-proclaimed alphas. I am not going to talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? <laughs> F you. Me? For bringing this up right here and right now. Me? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of. F there was a channel that I followed, and and it was giving very good advice. Um. And I hoped, you know, I don't know about you, but if you, 
if you, you know, you have the ability to comment and do all that type of stuff on YouTube videos. Sometimes I write to people and I say, hey, I'm praying for you. I hope, you know, I'm hoping, you know, like, if you have 50,000 or more followers, you know, I'm like, try to get them to Christ type thing. I do do that. And um, I kept with it and I'd write comments here and there and I'm pretty sure he was listening to them. And just every once in a while, and it was an alpha male, okay? And, I mean, he wasn't like that guy, but um, every once in a while, there would be a streak of just, you know, like, like, you know what I could do to you? Do you have any idea what I could do to you? You know, it starts to go into that type of stuff, and it's like, like I said about the Sigma male, they don't feel they have to do that. They're quietly, they're quietly deadly. It's not about that even. You get my point, right? That guy standing on stage, are you willing to bet that he got so angry because he knows that inside he doesn't have what that guy has? And that's why you turn towards Jesus Christ. Because, listen, I didn't have a good life. I had a really bad life. And, uh, You know what, I remember, this is really private, but hey, you know, um, it's better that people hear this and get lessons from it. <clears throat> I have autism, and, and I'm not saying this is the reason, but it certainly hampered my ability to grow as, as well as my friends, having cars, uh, buying homes, all that type of stuff. And uh, I was, you know, also just, I was just doing the wrong things. But I remember um, dating women. And I always wondered, is there something wrong with me? Like, you know, I, like, even though I drove, I didn't have my own car. And I just, anyways, I left feeling like women were very shallow. I never had a problem finding a date or anything like that. It wasn't like that. It was like any real meaningful thing and it seemed to come down to to objects cars homes and I understand if a woman kind of feels that way but you get my point right I think that guy's demons were completely triggered because he realized that you know, probably deep down he wishes he had that same peace in him there's a peace that only Jesus Christ can give you and you know what even though I was reading the Bible, I believed all my life, I didn't think that um, this type of, uh, I, I, I never had the indwelling Holy Spirit like I do. I had no idea it existed that way. I hope you find it. Common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah, fuck uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth. Heartfelt. If your wife said that you could bring a smoking hot 22 year old blonde over and y'all could both do it, would you do it? If he tells you no, he's a fucking liar. Liar. Okay, I don't know, man. I mean, I will say that I I don't I couldn't do it. I'm I'm like one person. I just I don't know. I, it, Look, it's man. Just, but I think that's how. But a bunch of people are wired different. You f losers that sit there and say, "Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Stinko? Do you stay by the Tate? But it's some bitch that makes the same allegations again." And it seems like everyone can see it besides them and their followers. Do you consider yourself an emotional male? Not really. I would say I, I do a good job of, you know, controlling them. I would say that you are extremely emotional. What, by by the experience that my my first experience yeah, with you, yeah, so you you come off very flustered and and um, angry. The reason I believe that the alpha bro is so much more insecure than the Christian goes back to what we said earlier. Whatever you give the power to make you feel valuable, you also give the power to make you feel worthless. It will make you both arrogant and insecure at the same time. It's nice to know that no matter where I go, no matter who I'm around, I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. I don't feel like I have to um, present myself in a certain way. And uh, through knowing Christ, I find that I'm a lot more honest in things that would shame me before. Make me feel shame. Which is good. I mean, you don't always reveal everything about your life, but you get my point.
we don't think that it will be ultimately a, 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 an opportunity for jealousy or disharmony amongst women. Women are always going to be jealous. What, what, what's changed about that? Women have been marriage. jealous all the way through time. So. I'm not jealous of my marriage. Well, I don't care about your marriage. I'm talking about mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as we saw from the Alpha Bro, when you feel like you're living out the thing that you believe makes you valuable, you become arrogant. You naturally start to look down on those who haven't achieved it, and you subconsciously start to believe that they aren't as valuable as you are in some sense. And that explains why the Alpha Bro came off as feeling better than so many people and even millionaires who were out of shape. You have to be good at everything. With successful entrepreneurs, it's pathetic. They'll have like a before and after picture of their fitness shit, and their after picture looks like their before pic. Can you imagine having to go and wear this all day? That's like, what is it? The flavor, flavor, whatever? I don't know. I suppose it does attract some people. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're not embarrassed to this. But at the same time, it also makes you insecure. If you aren't achieving the thing that you believe makes you valuable, then you start to feel radically insecure about yourself. And this explains why the Alpha Bros seemed to get so insecure and defensive when the Christian guy didn't acknowledge the thing that he believed made him valuable. Now, I don't know much about the Christian here, and I don't agree with everything that he said in other parts of the clip that I didn't show. But one of the reasons why he could have been so calm the entire time is because his ultimate value could have come from Christ. If Christians find their value in the fact that Christ died Amen. for them, this escapes the problems that these alpha bros have. It can't make you arrogant since you didn't do anything to earn your salvation. In fact, you were so incapable of earning it yourself that Christ had to come into the world and die for you and then give it to you as a free and undeserved gift. Since you did nothing to- That guy was a perfect example of, well, number one, he couldn't have come up with a perfect, <laughs> a more perfect verse at that very time. Can you imagine that? Just, he hears, you know, the way that they're talking and it's just like, you know, the Holy, obviously he reads his Bible because he wouldn't have, I don't think he would have said that if he wasn't, um, if he was illiterate, he wouldn't have, I don't think, maybe he would, but, um, yeah, gotta get my oven. Is the alpha male any different than... And you're going to know what I'm talking about, you know, from kindergarten to, let's say, into high school. The same old guys, the same loud, whatever, right? You know what I'm talking about. Not that the uh, some of them are nice. Um, you know, I still like uh, some to this day. Um, but it's the way you compose yourself. I was put in a really humble position, let's say. My weight right now, because of these abdominal disorders that I suffer, uh, my other intractable pain disorders, but especially one of them of my spine, um, I have, I'm low weight, so I never exceed like 123 pounds. I'm very fit though, and you know, all my life up to the time of this happening, let's say at age... 30 to my spine I was very physically fit um, and when I lost a whole lot of weight and stuff like that I got to a point of you know it's like a hundred pounds because I wasn't eating because I was not being treated for something but anyway I was put in a position where when I would go to appointments and stuff and there just people would stare at me they would stare at me, and I knew they were staring at me because I looked like uh, like I was dying. And it put me in a real humble position, in a position I really hadn't been before like that, to realize, like, excuse me, this is not about money, homes, cars, whatever else, vacations, whatever it is, idols. This is about substance. That was, and it still is being thin like this. It's very hard to deal with, um, but you know, I know there's nothing I can do. Let's keep listening.
to deserve it, it can't make you feel any better than anyone else that doesn't have salvation. But at the same time, it can't make you insecure either, since Christ loved you so much that he gave his very life for you. He found you to be more valuable than his life, and he suffered an unimaginable death, not for his sake, but for your sake. So it's only in Christianity that you get a sense of value and self-worth that won't make you radically arrogant or radically insecure. And don't get me wrong, of course, we as Christians fail here all of the time. We naturally get our value from the same things that everyone else gets their value from. And it's at these times that we need to think back and meditate on our salvation and our identity in Christ. The more that we meditate on the message of the gospel, the less that we're gonna come off as this alpha bro did. That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt because off. Speaking of these alphas, again, take a listen to one of these videos where I explain the issues with Andrew Tate's view of toughness, and I'll see you over there. Family, like, um, I'll just say when I, certain people, certain people who I may associate with, that I do associate with. I just want to scream at them and say, there's another way. You know, all you talk about, or, you know, when I'm around people is, is I hear things about idols and the world, the world, the world, right? And I want to tell them that, like, you have no idea there's this indwelling spirit. All you have to do is believe. Start reading the Bible and hope that it happens to you. You can change those idols for hope and faith. Anyways, that's what I have for today. Um, yeah, I've been building a website for two weeks. Listen to this. I've been building a website for two weeks. And I completed it. I still have stuff to add to it, but I finished it. A kidney stone later, and um, I, I, I like I intended to to send it to someone, uh, someone who would be important to this to the what I'm doing with this website. As soon as I got to the point, I'm like, okay, I'll, I I write them uh, a fair email. And I go to put in my link, and before I'm like, okay, I'm just going to check my site first to see if it's okay. I go, it, you know, it says 502 error. I'm like, what's 502 error? And, uh, you know, this site had never gone down. It's Wix. You know, Wix is the host. And I go and look, and I'm like, it is down. Wix is down. And it was down right at the very second of finishing what I wanted to do it had never gone down since I got on it right at that very second it's Satan <laughs> anyways guys hope you're all doing well and um, so have a good night whether it be uh, you see this two days from now probably will be God bless